Hey everyone, I am Samya Kagarkar and welcome to Agarkar Media Academy. This is the fifth tutorial in Blender 2.81 tutorial series. The last video was very long, it was 17 minutes long and we learned the most important thing in Blender that is transformation of objects inside of Blender. So, uh, so let's say we have all uh, done all the transformations and we have done the basic, uh, you know, added basic models and basic objects. Now we want to save the file. So saving the file is one of the biggest things in any project because if you don't know how to save a file then it's going to be a big issue. So in this video you are going to just learn how to save a file. That's it. <laughs> so before saving a file of course we are not going to save the bad file. Let's just change, let's just add some objects and use all the existing um, uh, functionalities that we have learned till now so that we get a practice of it. So first of all I want to delete this object so i select the object left click for selection selecting the object x for deleting the object and delete now i want to add a plane as a ground for everything else that we, we are going to add a plane so shift a for adding an object we are already in the object mode you can see it right here shift a is for adding the object we add a plane now of course we want the ground to be bigger so we want to scale the plane s for scaling and i'm just going to move the mouse or i can also do one thing i can just press a number on my keypad so let's say 10 right here you can see i press 10 and i press enter and that's it so it has been scaled by 10 times so that is what uh, numbers do you, you can do it in the grab you can do it in scale and you can do it in rotation you just have to press a number uh, rather than you know directly putting on the uh, you know moving with the mouse and stuff like that you can just press the number if you know if you completely understand how much scaling rotation or uh, movement you want in the object so let's do it one more time scale and we're going to scale it 10 times so i press 10 and enter good so this is our plane now we want to add a few objects here L again uh, let's say we add a cube a sphere and a torus and a cone that's it so shift a is for adding again object we go to the mesh we go to cube now here you can see if i just track ball using the middle mouse button i'm track pulling the viewport using the middle mouse button you can see half of the cube is below the plane and half of the cube is above the plane now why this happens you can see this uh, these lines are intersecting at the point which is called as the origin right and we uh, and whenever we add the object when this this basically this one the red and white circle and a crossbar this is called as the 3d cursor so whenever we add the object we are adding it at the 3d cursor right so when we add the object uh, the middle the median of the object is at the middle so the default size of every object uh, let's say cube is one by two units by two units by two units so the width is two units the height is two units and the length is two units so uh, if we want to uh, place it on the ground we will have to move the cube above so moving is grabbing g and we don't want to move it anywhere else we just want to move it in z direction right upwards where is where is it oh uh, uh, where is the cube yeah yeah so z direction so i just let's do it again grab and z so now it is snapped to the z axis now you can move it anywhere else uh, here i can see slightly that the intersection points are being highlighted a little bit by gray color you can see it here uh, i can move it here right like this but i'll not be having complete control over it so just control <coughs> sorry Control Z, we are just grabbing it by one unit because we know it is two units, one unit above the ground and one unit below the ground. So grab Z1. Now it is exactly on the ground. Now let's move it. Move it. Let's say here we want to move it here. Grab this direction is Y direction. So Y and we move it here. Let's add some more things. Let's say a sphere again half of the sphere is below half of the sphere is above so grab z1 right now it is on the ground uh, let's move it here grab x 
now we are snapped to the x axis and let's say we uh, grab it here shift a let's add a cylinder again half of the cylinder is below the ground half is above the ground grab z1 and let's move it here let's okay let's move it here now there are two things that you can do when you want to move this cylinder here either we can go grab y here and grab x here right this is one way or the other way is just one grab uh, function now why let's say i just want to move it in x y plane i don't want to grab it in the z axis so everything except z right x y plane is everything except z everything except z is shift z you can see the red line and the green line from the origin of the cube so you can understand now we are moving it in the x y plane right what we did grab and shift z to move it in every direction except z so now i can just place it here and you can see it is right on the ground right let's say we want to save this file right saving the file is very easy uh, as in the case of any other software that you use file and save or control s directly you can use right now this is for moving up the for the tree of you know directory up the directory uh, let's say i want to move it in tutorial files and i'm going to add a new folder so adding the new folder is this one let's call it blend blen der 2.81 toots right now i double click it i open it here i can change the file so the uh, extension for the blender file is dot blend so like ax is for executable file pdf is for pdf file um, jpg or jpeg is for images in the same way dot blend is the extension for blender files so let's say uh, or test one right now test okay let's say test dot blend and we save the file now what has happened is now here you can see test dot blend file is being opened so we are opening the test dot blend file let's say we create a new file right now we don't have the access to the test dot blend file we want to open the test dot blend file what we can do either go to the directory here here we have projects uh, of uh, sorry we we saved it in tutorial files tutorial files uh, here we have blender 2.81 toots and test dot blend it will directly get opened in blender right come on come on come on good so you can see uh, we start at the exact point where we left the uh, blender file so blender is very good at you know uh, saving the exact things exact last thing that we did in the blender so it's very good now if you want some version controlling system in this there is one way to do version control what is basically version control let's say you added a file you saved it now you made some changes and you save it again if you save the file after making the changes to the same file then what will happen is if you want to go back there is no way to go back right so let's say i i have a very good human being uh, made here and i uh, deleted him and i saved the file now i cannot go back and have the uh, human being again because i have already deleted the file i'll have to recreate the human again so for those reasons we use version controlling now version controlling for uh, other stuffs uh, is different but now here in blender it's really 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 very easy what you have to do is when you save the file you just have to give it a name so when we so now rather than saving it we are going to do save as which is control shift s save as and when we do save as what we need to do is just give it a number test 1 and save as right so now it's saved as test 1 now every time you don't need to change the number so now let's say we changed it we added a cone here no no no, no. we wanted to add a cone so cone and we again grab z1 to bring it on the ground 
and grab control z, uh, shift z to move it right here let's say right now we change the file from its original now we want to save it as a next version of file right not we don't want to override the test one dot blend file we want to save it as the next version of blend file of course you might think that we will do save as and just uh, delete one and press two right so we have to manually write test two dot blend no you don't need to do that also blender is very 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 cool in that sense you just click con uh, shift control s for save as and just press the plus no 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 not there plus button. uh no sorry here <laughs> this animation comes up because i have uh, you know mapped the animation to the plus button on the keyboard but as soon as you press plus here uh, if there is some number on the blend file and if you press plus it will automatically be incremented by one so if it is test one and you press plus it will be incremented to incremented to two test two right so this is very cool feature in blend of blender and you just need to hit enter so you don't even need to uh, move along with the mouse so let's say you we now you can see this is test two dot blend we made some changes let's say added a mesh added a monkey grab z1 to bring it on the ground and grab shift shift z to bring it right here control shift s to save as plus now the plus will show up the animation but sorry i'm here plus brings up the animation it increments to test three dot blend and enter that's it done so and if you go here in the file section you can see these three files right test one test dot uh, for the test dot blend was the first initial file test one dot blend test two dot blend and test three dot blend so if we uh, open the test one dot blend you can see the first version of the file if we just go back to test uh, two dot blend you can see the cone that we added afterwards in the second uh, iteration of the second version of the file give it a sec cool and the third one is the third one where we added the uh, Suzanne monkey so this is how saving the file works inside of blender 2.81 or any blender uh, for that matter so that's it for this tutorial this also video went on to the length of 12 minutes or so so it will be 13 minutes till i end hope you guys learned a little bit in this video also uh, please do uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel please do turn on the notification bells icon so that you can get notified whenever i post a new video on this channel uh, please 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 do uh, share this video with your friends and families who can learn blender and create cool stuff in 3d so i hope you learned something good from this video and i hope you will learn something even more better uh, in the upcoming tutorials and you'll upgrade your skills and stuff you guys are everything for this channel you the viewers and you the subscribers are the reason this channel can work i need your support please do support this channel please do share it with uh, your friends please do subscribe please put the word out so that this channel can grow and so that i get motivated to put on uh, more and more informative stuff on this youtube channel so let's see you in the next video till then keep smiling and keep learning